Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the weekend update. Uh, what a week, huh? Uh, we've had a, a little taste of everything this past week. Deadness, mania, illogical action, and, you know, it's more of the same. It's probably going to continue with this tape. I'm not even going to talk about the indices today because this is the indices in a nutshell. Dow rally's huge, spy rally's huge, eight stocks move up, or whatever the flavor of the day is. Dow or the spy drop three points, and it's Armageddon in most stocks. That's just the way this tape is. And while there are pockets of mania, a lot of stuff just does not trade correctly. We've got a lot of reasons, possibly why, inflation, you know, big reason, tax selling out there, and just a lot of cash sitting on the sidelines. This is a tape, as I continue to say, that I like to be 90% plus cash overnight. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna trade what action there is. It just means that is my stance overnight and I've got a day trade focus. I'm gonna play whatever the flavor of the day is. This week was rather dead until the MAGA stocks woke up Thursday and Friday, and then just utter mania in a handful of stocks. Now, what was really interesting about that action, and you saw especially on Friday, we saw the crazy moves, and I'll go over them in a little bit in some stocks, and then it was like everyone sold everything else that they were holding so that they could chase stocks up one, two, three, four, five hundred percent. That is the craziness of the tape that we're in right now. Now, tapes like this can take you and beat you up if you're not careful. You can get lulled into oversized positions, chasing the Lambos, etc., etc. This is a market to be very, very careful in. Doesn't mean you don't trade, just means you have to have strict discipline and make sure that you're taking those profits off the table. Now, Tesla, I will talk about because Tesla has been very, very strong. Nice breakout move in Tesla. Uh, looks like we're going to a thousand dollars on this chart, but let's see every time Tesla tries to rally big the market seems to do something crazy AI AI this pretty much tells you what the market's like. That's all I'm gonna say on AI and I'm gonna jump into How this last week went three stocks I did not do the video last week. I took the day off, uh, but I did post in the room that there was three stocks that I really, really liked this week. The first one was ADMP, OLB, and Fun. ADMP got some surprise news. Actually, a month early, FDA news up to 148, and every single day just got hammered all the way back down. We still have the real reason that I'm in this stock news coming, and that is hopefully good news on their COVID pill. It's overdue. Perhaps we will get another Monday press release from this company. OLB, same thing. We got that news. And, and like I said, everyone was chasing it up and then down it went again. So this sort of stuff is what teaches you to book profits. Now, fun was the last one and fun went insane on Friday. Whatever that trader who paid 20 plus for fun was thinking, I don't know. That is the kind of FOMO waves we are seeing out there. Blew through all targets if you're still in this stock. Crazy, crazy move. But it proves that a market can be very, very dead and then a small pocket of opportunity will wake up and you have to be ready to pounce when that happens. That's why I like to be patient and I've repeated over and over and over again. High cash, strict discipline, but when a mania sector hits, you're ready to pounce and possibly make weeks and months of gains just on that brief period of momentum. Now, going into this week, Ogen, possibility for news. We also saw some small cap stocks really go crazy and some volume is starting to come back into them. That is actually the thing that may do very well for a lot of these stocks near term. The move that PHUN did could bring some volume. We saw KIQ make a big move on no news um, Thursday, Friday. So eyes are on these kinds of stocks right now. CRTD also had a big move because it is a MAGA play with their Trump NFT coming, but then it got hammered down from the chasers into the close. Now this one, if this company's smart, should put out that press release tomorrow that they've got a Trump NFT coming. 
I mean, we've got companies that were moving late Friday that had associations with Trump, the Trump family, eight years ago. <laughs> just to show you what kind of mania was out there on Friday. Now, these guys have a press release lined up for their Trump penthouse NFT coming. Let's see if we get that one tomorrow. PBTS, this also had a big move, really from the price range, not really a MAGA play, but got lumped into them and a setup for continuation, especially if these stocks have a bounce tomorrow. The other one was BKKT, recent IPO, big late day move on Friday. So this would definitely be one to see if they get that follow through over 10 on Monday. Now, as I said, when we had this pocket of MAGA strength, it was like they dumped everything else under the sun. SYPR got beat upside the head. I picked up some shares, 50 day moving averages right here. This is one of my, you know, long term. I think it's really undervalued play. I was okay picking some up on weakness on Friday. Aspet. What else can I say about Aspet other than to talk about it so I don't hear 900 or read 900 posts on, on Monday morning? Why didn't you talk about Aspet? What can I say about Aspet? Here is the weekly chart. Aspet has gone down eight weeks in a row. But looking at the weekly chart, 200-day moving average is sitting right here. Look how oversold MACD. I mean, this thing is in the basement. Look at stochastics. Holy smokes. Now, what's it going to take for this stock to move? The algos get flipped on. You know, maybe DraftKings buys them out. Who knows what it will take for this stock to bounce, but this is a conviction swing for me. I have repeatedly said I hold these kinds of stocks with a longer view out there. I am okay adding to these kinds of positions if they go lower. It is a small portion of my portfolio sitting at 90% cash. One stock should not make you or break you unless it's fun that it did what it did on Friday. But one stock should not break or make a trader. You have to trade with discipline. These are the kinds of stocks that drive you up the wall. And then you look around and you see them do moves like this. This, this is the kind of craziness that I like and sit on conviction swings. Mossy, another one. Chip shortage. The news continues to pile in regarding the chip shortage. Their shareholder merger vote is November 19th. Still no real interest in this. But as we've seen many times over the year, when the algo gets flipped on, people will have no, no qualms about chasing stocks like this up higher. It's just the way this market is right now. SDC. Earnings coming up in a couple of weeks, November 3rd or 4th, I believe. Nice setup on this chart. And again, like I said, when we saw that extreme mania on Thursday and Friday, this is kind of what you saw around the market. Stocks down 20, 30, 40 cents with zero bounces. I mean zero. On a normal market, SDC down 40 cents on Friday should have at least seen a 30 cent bounce before going back down again. But we've just seen that kind of weird weird action out there now frsx was another one it actually got to the point i was like you know what this is ridiculous and added to my long-term swing on this one last week and then out of the blue on friday probably because mark went up big mark went up big because they found photos of the ceo with trump and this stock went crazy as a result um Love this one as a long-term play, but that is the kind of mania. You just never know what reason is going to come into a stock and move it on these conviction swings. This one had an extremely nice bounce based on the mark move. FRFX in the same sector. And actually another stock that's in the same sector is CETX. Now, this past week started to see a lot of the $1 area stocks go really, really big. Fun, of course, went over 20. PBTS went up towards 2. This is another one with a nice chart breakout. See if we get that continuation break on Monday, 120. 200 day moving average, 153 in sight. CYRN, this one's just gotten hammered. Offering done, but it's never been a stock that's moved easy. It's about to get a positive MACD cross. We're seeing buyers come into these penny stocks. This is a high volume stock, which lets those big volume algos and traders come in 
200 day moving average looks very attractive here. And remember, in case you haven't read, Trump's new social media site has been hacked every single day since they announced the launch. So maybe that'll be the excuse. This is a quotation mark, Trump site getting hacked play and the volume piles into it. We've seen stranger things happen in this market. ASTC, another $1 area stock with a potential breakout move. It looked like on Friday, traders are getting ready to get back into these small stocks. If you've been trading for any number of years, the signs were there Thursday. Really started to pick up on Friday. I want to see that continuation Monday. If we start to see nice charts, small cap stocks, get the volume and move easier, that's going to be a very, very good sign into November. So that's it for the video, guys. Uh, like I said, this is a take each day one at a time kind of market in my view when the mania or starts to build on itself that is when i'm going to look to start reducing my cash position and start to add more and more overnight swings but until then mostly day trade focus and i will add to my conviction swings and plays that i know news is coming on like ogen crtd ADMP also has possibly uh, COVID news coming. So those are going to be the kinds of plays I'm going to be looking to pick up in my swings and then just trading whatever action uh, pops up on the day. So enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will see you all in the chat room tomorrow. Bye.